Hey boos, welcome back to Mina's Daily Dose. My name is Mina, thank you for joining me today. If you are new, thank you for clicking on this video. And if you are a part of the fam, hello, how are you? Thank you for your continued support. So I did a poll on my Instagram. As always, I will put my Instagram somewhere over here or somewhere over here here okay so I did a poll on my Instagram and if you don't follow me please go ahead and do so but I did a poll on my Instagram for video ideas so I did like one through five I had different types of videos on there and two videos that was more popular were how to have a good relationship and I'm thinking either with you know your significant other or a friend and then the other one was five different outfits for the girls so today's video is going to focus on how to have a good relationship and i am going to focus on your significant other let's go ahead and jump right into this video first i'm going to give you a little bit of background on my relationship currently i am married i've been married for about two years and my husband and i have been together for eight years i think first thing first and i think this is i'm gonna start off with you know dating okay courting if you say I like to have a good relationship overall you really need to get to know that person i think there are a lot of people who rush into relationships or rush into marriages without actually knowing the person my husband and i it was six years total we were together before we even got married so i feel as if within that six year time frame we really got to know each other we got to know what made each other mad. We got to know those little weird things that we both do, you know. We got to know each other's family. We got to know each other's deep, darkest secrets. We got to know overall us as human beings. Take away the, oh, we're, we may date in the future or we may get married in the future. Just simply building a relationship, building a friendship and actually knowing that person, I think that is like the key. A lot of people, they get married and then they get divorced because after a couple years, they're like, who is this person? I don't know you. And it's like, because you didn't take enough time to actually get to know that person. You know, the attitude comes out arguments start to happen and that's when you start to see each other for who you really are and that may be so for men as well but I'm not a man so I can't speak on a man's behalf but definitely I know for us females okay that's what we need to cry and that's just keeping 100 so yes number one you have to know each other I mean know each other okay it's a lot of little nitpicky things that I feel like you want somebody to know about you, you know what I'm saying? That you don't want to find out down the line and you're like, what? That's crazy, you know? Another thing is to be transparent. And transparency is so important. Transparency, honesty is so important in a relationship. It's good to be open. It's good to be honest about everything that's going on. Definitely your feelings. And for men, I know that it's a little bit difficult to do that because men have testosterone, okay? And testosterone make men do a lot of things and it make men not do a lot of things, okay? But men have these egos, you know? In society, we are raised to be a certain way dependent upon our sexual orientation. So females, you are a little bit more light. You're not as tough. You are quiet spoken you are modest you are you know the organizer you are that man you are strong you are the provider what's the way to parent blah 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 right so for men it's a little bit hard to be transparent and honest because about how they're feeling because they have all these egos going on and then when you throw on top of it you have stubbornness men and women can be stubborn so it's good to be open honest and transparent with each other because that is going to make everything go smooth when you actually tell each other how you're feeling and you're being honest about it you know i think one breakdown in relationships is that one person feels another way the other person feels another type of way 
but neither one of them are honest about their true feelings. You know what I'm saying? If I feel a certain type of way, I gotta get it out. I gotta tell my husband in the best way I can. You have to get it out how you can get it out in the most respectable way that you can in that moment. And that even goes back to actually knowing a person. I think that if a person is being honest and transparent and is coming off a certain way, you have to know that person in order not to take it you know, personal or not to get mad at how they're saying it. You know, you really have to know that person. So if I know that my significant other is very passionate about what they feel and I know that sometimes it's hard for them to say what they have to say. So when they actually say it, it's like, oh my God, you know, like I gotta get it out. So it just all goes back to knowing the person because when you're in a relationship, I don't think it's, you can't take anything personal because you are two different people. Leading on to the next thing. Number three, when you are in a relationship with someone, you have to understand that you are two different people. Sometimes it's hard for us to understand that we are actually two different people. Just because we date, just because we're married, that doesn't mean that we're always gonna see the same viewpoints, that we all like this, both like the same food, that we both like to do the same stuff. It's just not gonna work that way. You are two different people. So when it comes to a situation where you argue or you have a disagreement about a certain topic, that's natural, that's normal, that's not going to go away ever. So that's when, number four, respect comes in. You have to respect the person to the utmost. You have to give the person in a relationship the utmost respect, okay? It goes both ways, okay? You have to respect each other. You have to always keep each other in mind in all situations, and that is where the respect comes in. Because without respect, there's nothing there. There's absolutely nothing there. And I feel like that's in just basic relationships. You have to respect the other person. And with respect comes care, it comes compassion, and a lot of other feelings that are important with that relationship as well. And for the fifth thing in a relationship, you have to be in love. Okay? In love. Not love someone. You have to be in love. There's a difference in being in love and loving someone. When you're in love with a person, you know, you respect them. You're open, you're transparent, you're honest, you care, you're loyal, you're understanding when you're in love. When you love someone, some of those things can go by the wayside. Your feelings can change a little bit, you know? You can lack respect in some, in some manner because I can walk around and say, I love everyone. I love everyone. If I meet anyone, I'll never meet a stranger in my life. I love you, but if you cross me, okay? I may let you know how I feel for real, for real, okay? But you have some regard to how they feel, you know? And you never want them to feel unloved. You always want them to be in a good place. You want them to smile, and no matter what, you will always be there for them. So in a relationship, you have to be in love. Not just love the person, you have to be in love. And I honestly believe, and this is just my own opinion, you know, a lot of people get divorced, and they just say, oh, I fell out of love, or we just drifted apart. Real love, that doesn't dissipate. That doesn't just leave one day, and it's like, oh, I don't love you anymore. Oh, we grew apart, you know? No, that does not happen, you know? It's a lot of things that have to happen in order to make sure a relationship stays together, of course, but when you're in love with someone, real in love, you are with them forever. So yeah, guys, those are my five ways how to have a great relationship. And if you guys like these videos, let me know. I'll definitely make more. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And I'll see you on the next one. Smooches. Bye.